Welcome back, everybody. My next guest is a professional food lover and host of shows like Man vs. Food, Food Fighters, and now Secret Eats. Please welcome Adam Richman. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Nice. Honored to be here. Uh, honored to have you. Uh, now, your original show, the people got to know you from uh, Man vs. Food. Correct. The uh, highest rated thing ever on the Travel Channel. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Uh, now, you don't do that show anymore. I don't. Uh, does that mean Food won? <laughs> no, I'm still standing, which means I did. Okay, but there's still food out there. There is. There is. That's a never ending struggle. In the, in, in the fight between man versus food, uh -huh. um, was it a friendly fight? Did it ever get really hostile between you and food? It definitely did. I definitely think that, like, yeah, with spicy food, that's a, that's a battle you wage on, on two fronts, if you will. <laughs> what's, the hardest, what's the hardest thing that you ever, like, uh, hardest challenge you ever faced? I think anything involving the ghost chili, there's a pepper called the Nagahalokia, and it is a pepper that is so strong that Indian police have found a way to weaponize it into grenades. And, um... What? Yes, and I somehow, uh, possess the intellectual fortitude to want to eat it. So, um, Did you eat a ghost chili? I, I have, I've eaten things with both ghost chili and ghost chili extract, and, um, barely lived to tell the tale. Wow. Yeah. Is it, is, is it actually a flavor, or is it like your head turns electric? It, like, is... it tastes like burning. It's sort of like, um, apparently, the pepper itself carries so much capsicum. It's, it's one million Scoville that, units. Is that the stuff that's what that makes, it makes it spicy? It yeah. Okay. And what, uh, one million, what is it? Scoville units. So a Scoville unit is apparently the amount of water it takes to wash away uh, the element of spice. So that's a measurement of spice. And up until recently, it was the hottest pepper on planet Earth, so much so that they could tie it to fences around rural farms in India to keep wild elephants at bay because they could pick up the capsicum like from miles away. So, again, I think I possess somehow less intellectual fortitude than a wild elephant. So, go figure. <laughs> Hope I done you proud, Mom. Um, okay, now the new show is called Secret Eats. Yeah. Um, what is a secret eat? That sounds like shameful snacking. <laughs> there is no such thing as shameful snacking. You mm -hmm. should, sh you should mm -hmm. snack with pride and pride alone. Mm -hmm. um, hidden restaurants, off-menu dishes. So it could be a place... Wait, a hidden restaurant? Yeah, a restaurant... Is that a good, uh, is that a good business model to hide your restaurant? <laughs> it's hard enough to have a restaurant run. <laughs> Let's not tell anyone about it. Yeah. What's a, what's a hidden restaurant? I mean, I think that everyone... It's, it's like in, in the musical Gypsy. You gotta get a gimmick. And I think that it's sort of... Um, you know, in this day and age where everything is, oh, that's so five minutes ago, and oh my God, they Instagrammed that truffle like two years ago, so that's I not cool anymore. I have never heard anyone say the words, they Instagrammed that truffle two years ago. <laughs> what does that mean? Why would some... I don't know. I really don't know. I was trying to come up with, like, food cognoscenti, sweater tied around the shoulder phrases. That was the best I came up with. Do you like the term foodie? Um, I prefer gastronaut, at least to describe myself. <laughs> A gastronaut sounds like you're being shrunk down small and stuck in someone's intestine to me. Well, my mom always wanted me to go into medicine, so there is that. Okay, this is, I understand, I don't quite understand, this, this, I've been told this is a picture of, uh, of a hidden restaurant. What does that mean? It is indeed. So that looks at the inside of PDT, which stands for Please Don't Tell, uh, here in New York City. So that is actually the inside of a hot dog place um, in the village. However, if you call and make a reservation, you go into this very telephone booth, you pick up, say who you are. What, right, right there? Right there. You go in that booth, and actually, after you uh, say who you are, you hang up the phone, and the back wall of the phone booth opens, and there's a hidden restaurant what? through it. And then they take your kidneys or something? That sounds... <laughs> One drink at a time. No, they, they're really awesome food, and actually they have marquee chefs making fun dishes, like hot dogs and tater tots and fun stuff like that, but you have to go through a hot dog place to find this high-end So is that eatery. the sort of thing that happens, like, just here in New York or all over the world? People are hiding restaurants? That's what we've been finding. I mean, we shot the first season of Secret Eats here in the States, but... We ended up shooting 15 episodes in 14 countries on four continents and finding places in Singapore that were on the back of a parking deck in uh, South Africa. There's a place called Spazi where they give you a pocket watch. Someone will randomly tap you in Cape Town, hand you a vintage pocket watch set to a specific time, and there's a note that says you're invited to a private dinner. This entitles you and four guests to come. You show up at this address at the time on your pocket watch. And there's a private 50-person dinner just for them. And I interviewed these people. I said, how on earth did you get the pocket watch? Daniel Craig. 
was, and I said, wait, James Bond handed you a watch and told you to go? Just randomly? Randomly. He was shooting something in Cape Town. It must have been like, hello, want a watch? And then, like, they just went. <laughs> wow. Okay. Daniel Craig never hands me nothing. Okay, so uh, we've got a couple of foods here that you say come from a secret eat. That is from PDT, in fact. This is, so what do we, what do we have? What is this right here? Do you have a, I'm going to get a shot of that there. Uh, so this is like tater tots, I guess, taken to haute cuisine level. So tater tots, uh, creme fraiche, and paddlefish caviar from Russ and Daughters right here in New York. Okay. And so it's, I guess, sort of an updated version of the so blini. Just to, just to, may I just go like this? Yeah, I would Join say, me here? Yeah, please, of course. Okay. Oh. So just a little bit of creme fraiche yeah, a on of there. Creme fraiche. And then uh, a little bit of caviar. A little bit of caviar. I'm going to go a lot of caviar in there. All right. right oh, there. I already got one on here. Okay. So I'm just going to dump right. it down in the caviar right here. Okay. Here, and cheers. Here. And you would eat this in a secret room. You would, behind the phone booth. <laughs> Where mm. else would you eat tater tots, creme fraiche, and caviar? <laughs> wow. That is like a combination of the Russian tea room and the drive in at Sonic. <laughs> I want to live there. That's, That's really fantastic. Awesome. Okay, what else, what else we got here? What is this? <coughs> what is this? Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, wow. Okay. What is this that? This is from a place called El Sabroso, and that's their signature roast pork, their very famous red sauce, rice and beans. Now, now in what way is this secret? Well, the thing that's so cool about El Sabroso, it's on a loading dock in the fashion district. It's almost right across from uh, FIT, the Fashion Institute, mm -hmm. but you cannot see it from the street. And quite literally, there's something like six stools, two tables set up with patio furniture, mm -hmm. and guys wheeling garment racks while you're there eating. And one family is there making all this. Go for it. Is that, what is, is that hot? The eponymous red sauce. It's got a little bit of a bite. Eponymous red sauce? Oh, the, the red sauce, the famous, the, the red sauce. They, some people call it, oh, the joint with the red sauce. Damn, girl. <laughs> I know my barbecue. That is off the hook. <laughs> Respect. And that's not ghost pepper, but that is going to haunt me. <laughs> Adam, thank you so much for being here. My absolute pleasure. Secret Eats is on the Travel Channel Mondays at 10 p.m. Adam Richmond, everybody. We'll be right back.